Hi guys, I'm Sanya um, and I have basically got a haul and I've got a bit of an issue and shopping seems to be one of those many issues that I have. Um, but I've basically um, been doing a little bit of shopping and I thought I'd share what I've got with you. Um, sorry about the lighting, I'm trying to use a natural light, I'm not quite used to this whole filming business so just bear with me. So I've got a couple of makeup bits, a few skincare bits. Um, so loads of little random bits and bobs that I'm going to talk you through. Now, one of my most favourite products that I recently discovered um, that I've bought is, I used it today, so it's a little bit messy, but it's the, look how beautiful it is. Soft and Gentle by Max. If I just try and like, there, you can see it better representation of it um, and it's a gorgeous highlighter I've used it on my cheeks today don't know if you can see um you can see the blaring sunlight I don't know what else you can see even though it's not even sunny um but it's a gorgeous highlighter it's from MAC and I think it's about 20 something old pound and it's well worth it and it's lovely to bring a bit of life and a bit of sort of glow back into your skin especially with the dreary um beautiful well beautiful wintry weather we've got going on at the moment in England. Um, another product um, that literally saved my life, especially coming up to January after the whole Christmas period and scoffing my face with way too many chocolates, clearly, um, has been this bad boy over here. Now this is the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer um, and mine is in the shade SC4 and I think they do them in like sort of four sh or five shades. Um, but if I just show you again, I used this today. Now this has got a, this darker peachy colour and then a paler colour. Now when I bought it, um, let me just bring it back a little bit so you can see. But yeah, when I bought it, the makeup artist basically told me that the lighter colour um, you sort of use to sort of erase almost what is there and so it pales it down and then you add slightly peachier golden to the tone on top of it to then sort of bring it back and it really covers up I've been breaking out quite badly um, and it's been amazing at covering up and helping me out with that so I've been loving that um, but yeah those two things I've actually kind of used so I can talk about it a little bit the rest of them are still pretty new seeing as this is a haul so um, I haven't really used them as much um, but one of them is Charlotte Tilbury's blusher so it's one of the swirl and pop blushes I think they're called swish and pop blusher and this is in the colour um ecstasy um and again it's just a really really gorgeous um the peachy and then the pinky colour in the middle um and I've used it once or twice and I do really really um like it but I haven't used it enough to be able to tell you more about it yet if you see what I mean. Now another product is a repurchase and I had to quite bite the bullet um to get this and again this is because I do have quite bad skin sometimes I don't know if you can see it on camera but I try to cover up so if you can't that's a good thing um and my skin can get really really um sort of I can get under skin bumps I can get sort of acne I can get actual full-on blemishes I get sort of marks and there's a lot of things that go on with my skin that are not nice um, so the product that I've been using to try and fade all my scars and try and keep all of that under control and it's been really, really working miracles and then I stopped using it and then I was like, oh, it's, you know, 50 odd pound, I really want to spend that again. But then, with how my skin has been during January, I had no choice but to bite the bullet and that is, well, I did have a choice but I really don't want to. Um, and with Christmas money and all sorts, I thought I'd take the splurge and it's the Kane and Austin um, retexturizing pads and they've basically got 10% glycolic, um, in them and um yeah, I think that's yeah and you get 60 pads in here um and what you basically do is you get inside the packaging there's a little flap that you take off and then their pads are in there and then you take one out and it says to use on morning and night and I think they're a bit pricey for me to use twice a day so I usually stick to once in the evening and not every day sort of every other day or depending on how my skin's been and that way I get a lot more use out of these bad boys and um, but they're well worth the money if you've got the issues that I've been talking about um and then I've got my 
another repurchase, which is the Inglot Gel Eyeliner in the colour 77. And it's just the mattest, blackest gel eyeliner I have ever found. And I love it. And I will re keep repurchasing it. I will repurchase. I don't even know what I'm saying half the time, clearly. But just, just ignore my little squabbling. And also ignore the mess at the back. Try to make the room clean. It didn't really work. Um, now, I've got another three products here. Um, and again, as much as it might not look like, I usually do like doing my nails quite a lot. Um, and they're getting a bit chipped and a bit worse for wear at the moment. But this colour is a colour by OPA called Miami Beat, but that's not in the haul. Um, because I take off my nail varnish so much and I use so much acetone in my cuticles and it makes them quite dry, um, I've been using a cuticle cream. Um, I haven't actually got it on me. But it's a L'Occitane. It comes in a packaging that's similar to this. Now this is the lip balm. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe. Okay, so this is the lip balm packaging. And it's a similar size packaging for the cuticle. And it's the sheer butter cuticle cream. And it is amazing. So if you're ever out and you need a new cuticle, cute, ooh, cuticle cream, definitely recommend that one. Um, and this is just the moisturising lip balm. And it's just, I've been using it all winter. Um, again, I'm not pretty. I'm not, I mean, Vaseline does a trick, really, as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, another thing I purchased online um, was something from the Balm Cosmetics. And there's something that I've never tried is the Balm, because it's not very easy to get in the UK. Well, not as far as I'm concerned. If you know of anywhere, let me know. And that's this overshadow the sex spot series at the balm um and this color is you buy i'll fly i think and it's a beautiful beautiful gold color i would um i'm not going to tip it over because the, but you can see there's a little bit gathered up in the lid and that's a beautiful beautiful color and it looks gorgeous on the eyes um so that was another thing i've recently bought um and the last thing the primer again on the whole skincare theme when we try to keep my blemishes at bay um i decided to bite the bullet and get this now this is the smashbox photo finish um more than primer blemish control um i haven't ex i haven't just got it i haven't used it enough to be able to give you um sort of my opinion of it but i'm hoping it'll be good um i saw a video by andrea's choice and then um um Miss Glamorat, she also had a video where she bought it because she didn't Miss Glam um, Andrea's choice to use it. So, they're amazing. Their opinions are usually amazing. I love their suggestions. I'm hoping I'm going to love this. I'm hoping my skin's going to love this. Um, but yeah, those were my little bits and bobs um, that I've recently been purchasing and I need to stop shopping now. Um, no more shopping, Sonia. No, no more. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll have a great day. Um, thank you for watching.